But at the end of the day, it's like, why are you so obsessed with how old you're going to be when you graduate or when you do things? What's up, y'all? It's Leah with a Y. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about my college journey, how I got to where I am now, all the obstacles I faced, and just give a little bit of advice as to people who or for people who are thinking about going to college. But before we get into this video, be sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell and press all so you can get all my post notifications that way you don't miss a single video. Okay, now that we got the pleasantries out of the way, let's get into my journey to college. All right, okay, so boom. It's 2017 and I am a senior in high school and I've since I've graduated it's graduation day right everybody has made up their mind on what colleges they're going to I am no exception I spent all of 2017 basically practically all of the all of my senior year touring colleges and trying to narrow it down and the advice that I got when I, I started looking at colleges my sophomore year of high school I believe it was I stayed in Indiana for a while and so um, they used to have like college reps, uh, come to our school from different colleges and they used to talk to us about, um, the college and college life, you know, basically telling us all the highlights of, and every reason as to why we should go to their school, you know? So my personal aide at the time, which is what I had when I went to high school in Indiana said that the best thing for you to do is to go to community college. She said, when I went to community college or when I went to college, I dove straight in and I went to a four year university and I had no idea what I was getting myself into. And she said, if I had known what I knew now, I would have went to community college. Community college is your way to get your foot in the water, put your feet in the water and just kind of test it out to see if it's something that you even want to do in the first place. She said, do that and it's also is cheaper to transfer from a community college to a, a four-year university and you're not wasting all that time and all that money ended up going to a four-year four -year university and then realizing that this is just too much and it's overwhelming which made a lot of sense you know what I'm saying like you are making the big you're making a transition from high school to college and you're going to jump from high school to a four-year university like you don't even know if you want to even be here for four years so just go for two and test it out and see how it goes so that's what I did and I started looking at community colleges um, fast forward, I moved to Mississippi and I settled on Mississippi Delta Community College. That's where I was going to go. I applied, got in, everything was set, but because I was financially irresponsible, my mom was like, you're not ready to be on your own. I can't trust you to be by yourself. You're coming with me to Memphis. So I went to Memphis for about five, six months, give or take, um, and while I was there, I kind of just was there, you know, watching everybody else go to college. But it was cool. It's fine because there's spring semester and I can go during the spring and still be able to, you know, graduate on time, quote unquote, on time. So I applied while I was in Memphis to go to um, Mississippi Delta Community College again, got in, had everything picked out. But this time, financial aid would have been would be the reason why I would not go. I didn't have any of my financial aid paperwork turned in um, and my mom, the lady that did my mom's taxes, uh, wasn't able to find like her documents. She wasn't returning any calls, anything like that. So I wasn't able to go to school. I had bought everything and I'm just like, man, I spent all this money and I can't even, I can't even, you know, I can't even go. So yeah, that happened. So I set that out, right? Now I'm here, I'm depressed because I'm like, what, what am I going to do? You know what I'm saying? I'm 20. At this point, I am. Okay, I said I was 19 when I graduated. At this point, I'm like 20, 21 years old. What am I going to do? You know what I'm saying? Like, what? Oh, okay, I'm 20. I'm 20. At this point, what am I going to do? Like, I'm watching everybody else go. And they finished their senior, their, their freshman year of college. And I'm just watching. I'm just like, bro. So the, my counselor at the time, my VR counselor at the time was like, well, there is a training center that you can go to. It's called Annie McBride. Uh, you can go here. You'll get all your computer skills. She said, it looks like that's what you need. You need mobility skills, you need computer skills, and just some other life skills that you can get. So I was like, okay, fine, I'll go there. So I went there in October of 2018. I went, um, and then 
I left, well, I did not know I had hair on me. I left uh, June of 2019. I was pretty much done with the program in April because everything that they were teaching me, I picked up on really fast. Um, I picked up on computers. I was I became really tech savvy or as tech savvy as I as I possibly could during that time that I was there. So I'll, I'm I'm armed and ready. I'm ready to go. I know everything I I know everything there is to know about mobility and you know using your cane and being able to navigate and stuff like that. I knew that already, but my skills were just a little rusty. My computer skills are top notch. I'm sharp. I know the basics of a computer. I know how to work it. Um. Once I figure out how to work, you know, different kinds of computers and I figure out all the keystrokes and stuff, it's over, you know? So I'm good. I'm straight. I know how to use JAWS now. I know how to type uh, adequately at a decent speed. Like, I'm straight. I know, I know everything there is to know, you know? So I decided that I wanted to go to work and then I changed my mind and said I want to go to college. I applied with the VR services in Tennessee. And, you know, after telling my counselor that I wanted to go to college instead of work, she tells me everything I needed to do, which is pretty much the same thing that I had to do when I was in Mississippi. So I applied, a, I pick out a school, I research schools, and the school that I'm going to, a, to now, Nashville State Community College, popped up. I don't know what drew me to them, but I'm just like, okay, I'll go here. Honestly, I was trying to get away from home, and I wanted to go stay on campus, but the way it was set up, it was more of like, um, they, didn't, they don't have on-campus, like, uh, living quarters you have to buy an apartment which VR would have paid for but I didn't I was like you know what that's gonna be a lot of that's gonna be hassle trying to get up there trying to get your transportation and get everything so I'm just gonna do it at home COVID happened COVID happened right so now all you can all you can do is do things online right I was gonna do the spring uh, semester at NSCC okay so I applied in like I don't know, October, got accepted, started working on my financial aid, got got all my transcripts submitted, everything like that, all that good stuff. Started working on my financial aid. By the time I submitted my financial aid, aid, it was a little bit too late and they were not able to process it. And I was purged from my classes because I had an outstanding balance that I could not pay. Um, So that happened, okay. I ended up sitting it out, sitting out the spring and summer sessions because I was going to do summer sessions, but then I was just kind of like, nah, I don't want to do that. Um, so I decided that I would go um, and reapply again because I had to. Now, at this point, I've reapplied to college before before this last time. I reapplied to college three times, got in each and every time, but something always kept me from going. Something was always hindering me from going. So this time I was just like, you know what? If this don't work, I don't know what the fuck. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know. So I apply. I get in, right? I submit my financial aid. I think I applied in like March or April. I submitted my financial aid like earlier, early part of 2021. Uh, So early part of this year. I submit my financial aid. I do all that good stuff. Um, Then I had yet another balance because of like they were trying I had to update my residency and stuff like that because I was moving and whatnot I gave them um my sister's address and they were like okay you need like proof to say that you were a resident of Tennessee I didn't know all that at the time but I had a balance and they had dropped me from my classes temporarily so oh my god I'm like oh my gosh but I was luckily able to get re-enrolled and I start school next week so everything that was hindering me before doesn't hinder me now only only thing that's going to stop me from potentially not completing school is me like that's it that's literally it so i went from the first time being on me to the second time you know not having financial aid to the third time my financial aid not being in on time so that was kind of on me because i was trying to you know get stuff done and all that kind of stuff to the fourth time now having everything in and being able to go to school this is what was kind of bothering me and making me upset. I had a whole thing of, okay, I'm going to go to school at 23, graduate at 27, and possibly be done, and possibly go to law school and graduate at 30. I can still graduate early if I do, like, summer classes and I try to knock stuff out and get it out of the way to be done with school. But at the end of the day, it's like, why are you so obsessed with how old you're going to be when you graduate or when you do things? At the end of the day, 
you're going to be 30 regardless. You're going to be 27 regardless. But would you rather be 27 with a degree or just 27? That's what people get so hung up on, like obsessing over the age that they are when they're getting ready to do something. I was 19 years old when I graduated high school. Do you think at the time I cared about how old I was when I graduated high school? No, all I cared about was the fact that I made it and I graduated. I was ready to go. I had a rough um, year and I had a rough two years and I wanted to be done with that part of my life. I want to be done with high school and that's a part of high school I really don't want to remember. So I was happy to graduate. I was, ex I was ecstatic. I was excited because I made it through. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people probably would have dropped out given everything that they had going on in their life. But I was like, no, I'm going to finish because I'm, I'm almost here. I've come this far and I'm this close, you know, I'm this close. And now I'm 24 years old. I've taken four years off of school. I'm 24 now. And I am starting my college journey. Like I was going to be 24 regardless, but now I'm going to be 24 and in college. So I said all that to say, do not let your age deter you from doing whatever it is you want to do. If you're 35 right now and you're thinking it's too late for you to go back to college, you're wrong. You're going to you're going to be 39. You're going to be 36, 37. However, however many years is going to take you, you're going to be whatever age it is, um, whatever age you'll be when you complete that program, regardless, you're going to be 42 regardless. But if it takes you um, seven years to complete you know, your bachelor's degree and your JD, then that it takes you seven years. Like it is what it is. Um, so I would just, I would just really be cautious and not trying to talk yourself out of going because you feel like you're too old to go. And sometimes there are, there's pros and cons that like there's, um, good, good things in being the oldest person in the class. You can set a precedent and set the example because you've lived a little bit of life and you already know how, you know, things go. I may be the oldest person in my class going into college, but I'm there. You know what I'm saying? And that's fine with me. As long as I'm in, in school, I really don't care how old I would have been, how old I am. So, yeah, but that's my college journey. Very crazy journey. I went, like I said, I went from, you know, applying to not being able to go to applying and now I'm able to go and hopefully I can... This will be smooth sailing. There's still some kinks that I have to work out. But other than that, like, I'm not even going to worry about things I cannot control. I won't stress about it. It is what it is. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what your crazy college stories look like. Or your, what was your journey to college? What did your journey to college look like? Good Lord. Um, be sure you like this video. Thumbs up this video. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you can get all my post notifications. And I'll see y'all in the next one.